Y'all, it was a rough night. Maybe I need Wheaties. Don't have Wheaties, y'all. We're going to go with a Special K Red Berry. So, I only have one of them. I heard they were really good. Bought it. But you know what? We're going to try it. And if I don't like it, then I don't can I eat it. It is a 39 on Yucca. Or a 59. These little, you know. Anyway, let's see. y'all coffee and they having my veranda starbucks veranda with my oat milk creamer from trader joe's whoa it's hot okay so we're also going to try this is um three trees i'm telling you i've hunted up and hunted up <clears throat> this is the best that i could find oat milk that does not have junk in it which is just unbelievable that you're trying to drink well i guess some people are drinking because they can't tolerate dairy but really you're doing it to be healthier and they put so much stuff in it that it's not good for you anyway it says no vegetable oils just seeds with good fats seeds are packed with omega-3s vitamin e and magnesium it's something called glyphosate free oats y'all and she says here, on the forest walks with my grandma, I learned to appreciate the abundance of nature. So, we are going to put a little bit of that. Now, it's not super attractive looking, y'all, okay? But oats in general aren't, aren't attractive. So, I like my cereal a little bit soggier. I also got um, a pistachio one. I took it to work, so... We can have a taste test with it. Y'all love my taste test. That reminds me, I got a post. I had a rough night. Number one, I caught a win. And um, yeah. <clears throat> and I woke up, my night guard was off. Clara, I said to Clara, we're not getting up till eight. Don't bother me. That girl was 6.30, been bugging me to get out of the bed. It is now, I've done a few things. It's now 7.24, so. So, I'm going to have to be very kind to myself today. Y'all, I have a spoon. Now, where's my spoon? Okay. And then we're going to talk out my day. Oh, <gasps> don't fall. Okay, you guys. Spoon. So, it has real strawberries in it. So, let's see how they rehydrate. Like dried. I already feel like there needs to be sugar in here. Of course, there's sugar. Fiber is five grams. In general, I'm just not eating cereal, but I thought, you know what? Try this because I bet you're not going to like it. Special K. It's not terrible. I don't like it. I shouldn't have put so much oat milk in it because I'm not eating them. Mm -mm. Oh. Raisin up brand it is from me. Although not very often, y'all. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I remember having to eat Special K. Yeah, you know, I love my cereal, y'all. That is one thing I really don't have. Like I used to have is cereal, like soda and cereal. Mm -mm. And I will not have Fruit Loops or, you know, what's my favorite one? Like, oh, Lucky Charms. That's the other one. Reese's cereal, oh my God, the little balls, jeez. And then in the end, you can drink the milk. Yeah. So that's what happened in planner time. Planner time, planner time. Yeah, I gotta start writing things down and get in the habit, it's just time. 
So let me tell you in my head. I've been trying to use it a little bit. Um, then I got... <clears throat> I got all these free art classes. And some I really, really want to take. So I'm going to um, Google that down. And with all these doctor's appointments, you know what? And stuff. And now I'm on. Um, okay. So Tuesday at 1030, y'all. I have my eye appointment. Okay. Today, I got to work on taxes. I got to find this form, you know. Wednesday, I want to drop food off um, food bank. Thursday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, I am going to visit a friend that retired with my friend Robin. And she's over in the Eastern Shore. She's crossed the bridge. The, yeah, I forgot to say, I don't live anywhere near the bridge that collapsed. <clears throat> to my knowledge, I've never been on that bridge. It hasn't been fascinating. I mean, it's just horrific. I mean, when you see that, and the fact those cops got no cars, other than the poor workers, that there were no cars on that bridge is, can you imagine if that was, I don't know, if those big boats don't move out during the day, I mean, I don't, I don't know, but it's been interesting to learn about it, but I've never been there. The bridge I got to go over is Chesapeake Bay Bridge, and that, nobody's hitting that. And I don't think that's a pretty sturdy thing. It's very tall, very long. But she kind of lives just over it, so it's probably like close to a two-hour drive. <clears throat> so my friend Robin, who I'm always happy to hang out with, um, yeah, we, we've been wanting to do this for two years, maybe. So we just picked a date and now it's here. So I'm excited about that. But I do want to run to Trader Joe's and get a couple munchies for my friend Sharon. Um, she's funny. She does not like to cook. We gave her, I talked to everyone to giving her a really nice, um, air fryer or can, I don't know what we gave her now. Y'all, that's terrible. Instant pot, maybe. Thinking she'd have time. She, yeah, no. <laughs> Once, never wants to cook. She still doesn't want to cook. And, um, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I have my drops in. So, I think um, I have to wear my guard for two weeks. I think I'll wear it as long as I can because, you know. And then, um, yeah, I'm tired. So, it's not a good way to start my day. Make a little note. If you want to feel crappy in the morning, eat food after nine. Watch TV that's not, that makes your brain work, that doesn't help you calm down. Right? Like, start doing stuff to excite your brain. Wait till the last minute to do things that you need to put away for the day. And don't do them because you're tired so you can wake up and feel bad. <laughs> yeah, check, 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 check. But today is a new day, regardless of how I feel, right? <clears throat> but a blessing. So, on my little notes here, May 8th, y'all cannot come quick enough. Okay. So, what I like about this is, it and we're going to, I want to decorate it and do fun things with it, but, um, so we have the Walmart, I have Walmart pickup, y'all. I do. So, we're going to do Walmart pickup. About between at 10 o'clock, I think. Okay. And the other thing I got to do is look for this a form from my um, mortgage company. And if I don't find what I need, then I have to go call them and see if I have to go in. And I need my account number to set up an online thing or just have them print it out for me what I need. Right? So those two are the, and then work on my taxes. So those are the most important things, right? But... I think I'm almost, I think I've actually sorted through all my fabric. There's also notions, I think is what they're called, haberdashery stuff. <clears throat> so my goal is by Saturday, um, have it all done, right? Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm bringing everything for the food bank because I'm going to go Wednesday and put it in my trunk. And then... I'm going to, because it's going to take me time. So what I do is I put everything down in my front lobby, my foyer. And then I'm going to put all my um, 
fabric stuff that's going to people. I've got, oh, I've got the vets today, so I'm gonna finish their boxes. Put the vets out, just put out what I have. <clears throat> so that's the thinking, but I do not want, so right now I have a bunch of empty containers, but I'm gonna keep all the fabric stuff right now um, in the containers in my room. Then, not now, but later I'll go through it with y'all and, and really hone down on what I want to keep and sort it. I was thinking maybe um, pull out anything that, well, everything really is inspirational. <laughs> but maybe pull out things that <coughs> I want to do right now. Uh, yeah. But I want to sort with you. This is, um, I have a whole bag of... I don't know, just different things and um, Notion and you guys. Thought I didn't have any cute little. So these are mostly from the Dollar Tree, I think. And <clears throat> they're really for junk journals and stuff. I love this. What I want to do is put it in something and display it. Um, so like we'll do the pom pommy things. Right, I have an empty jar. I think this would be super cute, right? Do I need it all? No, maybe, do, now this is like elastic. I, that's awesome for books, making journals, you guys. I don't know what goes on. And then you forget you have it. Let's see, let's just take out. Yeah, I have a lot of duplicates. So these were kind of fun. <clears throat> I think like two years ago. So you got Rick Rack and some really cool design and then you got your pom-poms. I don't really use the pom-poms and the stuff I do right now. What does this say, y'all? Happy Easter. Yeah, I don't need that. So I'm gonna think about this again. So I, I can hardly wait to have light with light, you guys. So that is elastic for binding books or making closures. And then let's see. And then this is my Rick Rack. So Rick Rack I want separate from the pom poms, y'all. You can't have your Rick Rack messing around with your pom poms. So But I do have a jar. So maybe I'll just put the things that are open. I don't know, y'all. I'll keep that. I'm that's sorry, but it's cute. Cute. See if I do a spring journal, a glue book. I have one that are cats in color from the golden books, and these are these golden books, y'all. Again, these are just little daisy things, which is neither pom pom nor rick rack. Those I think are from Tamu. In Rick Rack. <clears throat> now I have more of that. But yeah, so that's the thinking here. I don't know, you guys. See, this is where my brain's tired. So let's look at these right here. I had three of these, right? Definitely one of those can go. Um So we are gonna go through every single thing. I have two of these. I don't know. I have two. I'm gonna keep two of everything, maybe. <clears throat> For now. And if this time next year I don't use them up, I haven't touched them, then we'll let stuff go. We'll let more go. I'm letting a lot go, y'all. I could get busy. So this makes me want to do um, my junk journals. So here's another one of those. Yep, that's an extra one. And then two of these. And then this one is just this. And did I have a one yellow? No. Okay. Pass this on. We'll do Rick Rock separately, but do I? 
I mean, yeah, again, one year. I'm gonna make notes for a year from now. Okay. And then we find the Rick Rock, because I have Rick Rock. What about this? I want my little. Okay. So not so much coming out, but that that's okay. And then I will let. Well, these are useful. No, we got we got art to make. That's why I've got to find a balance. I need to do art today for sure. So one of the classes I'm watching is so cool on Wanderlust, y'all. If you're interested, in September, they usually have like Labor Day weekend. They have three-day workshops, right? And you don't have to sit and do art at the same time. You can, of course, but um, they'll be there forever. And usually at that time, they have like an early bird special. So I paid $99 for for 49 classes from amazing teachers. The woman, I can't think of her name right now, and I think she's um, Polish maybe, I'm not sure, but I loved her stuff. Now, one of the things she does that I have to be, you know, y'all gotta get my goggles. So anytime I'm doing anything, I'm gonna protect my eye, but so you get like a soda can, you cut the tops off, and what you're gonna do is, and I'll have to watch this again, you're going to make a sh uh, like a tool out of it, right? Like there's a way of cutting it. You're going to wrap it around a stick and then you're going to dip that in ink and it makes little marks in the paper. Okay, so that, I may need adult supervision. I may, not sure, probably. But um, there's somebody at work and he likes to, he's, you know, older man. I might have him cut it for me. I might have him do it because that's the kind of thing he likes to do. Not particularly that, but you know, stuff like that. Maybe I'll do that. I haven't cut a few for me out of a can. I haven't noticed I have cans. I have I use a soda can, right? Because they're they're thin. Mmm. My coffee is exquisite. Okay. So now this, y'all, is an old shirt of my dad's. And I have a shirt kind of like it. And I made a pillow out of one of out of it. But I definitely am keeping this. What I might do is um, put a, actually, you know what? I mean, maybe I will put the pillow in my mother's trunk. I don't have a lot of stuff of my dad's in that trunk, but um, yeah. So this is gonna be kept, but I definitely want to, let's see, let's separate it. I don't know. Y'all, you have any ideas? Maybe if I can get, like a decent piece I could put it on the you know I love like things on backs of shirts I don't know y'all I really don't know but this is gonna go in a special place right yeah can you imagine my dad's long gone long gone and here's his cool shirt probably from the 60s y'all I wish I had some of my my dad's golfing pants I think I did for a while and I let it go but I would love to make a pillow but this man my papa Papa John, he loved golfing, of course. And it used to be fun to go to the driving range. Um, but he loved thrifting. Well, he grew up dirt poor, dirt poor. And um, like his mom and him living with relatives poor. And his um, other siblings were older. So they got, and his dad died when he was two, right? It's a tough start. And I think the closest in age is the sibling is 15 years ahead of him. So it's, it's different. And, um, yeah, he worked hard to give himself a life. Really did. And I give me and my brother a life. But, um, yeah, but he loved thrifting for these, the ugliest, terriblest golf pants you can ever, ever imagine, ever. And I said to him, once, do not come to school and pick me up in these pants. You know, isn't that funny when you're like that age, like, Something your parents can do, you can, well, you can just die of embarrassment. Yeah, you know, of course, one day you'll be like, Jesus. Anyway, I miss my dad. He's probably around me today because he wants me to do my tax. <laughs> Him in bed. Okay. Here's another piece. Actually, you know what? My friend Mary, she could make something out of this for me. Huh. Because she, she, she might 
do a quilt with some of my mom's stuff. I just don't have it in me right now to hunt all that up. But, but that could be on that, part of that. Anyway, you guys, so I love sock monkeys. We've never, we've really never talked about my sock monkey addiction. Because y'all, I don't want to do anything about it. I got a, I got a huge family, y'all, of sock monkeys. I do. So I'll introduce you to them one day, but I'm not ready right now to, they're fine, they're on top of a bookcase, other than I need to take them down, maybe throw them in the dryer and get any dust off them. But, so this was not my size, as nothing, the Nick and Nora, y'all remember Nick and Nora? They had the best stuff and never fit me. But what I wanna do is, I don't know, this could be something I could send to Mary that she could cut and put in a blanket interesting because I love so that's what I'm going to do with that and I found the cutest little apron you guys is this adorable how cute is this little apron I'm not sure where I'd wear it um so right now I'm not sure so not sure we're not going to have many of those but it's just it's so sweet but if I were cooking you guys that's not uh, my cousins made me a beautiful one which I use all the time. I should ask them if they make me a... I bet Mary would make me one. Because I want, like, a, a, a really beautiful, canvasy, but lighter, genie kind of um, material to make a smock for a frock. This thing I haven't worn yet, y'all. Well, I gotta wash it. It's probably toxic as I'll get it out, right? I don't know that I'm going to enjoy the material. I don't know, but it's gonna be perfect. Maybe it will be good downstairs because it's thicker, but y'all, it's a dress. If I came to work and y'all, I don't know you guys, but I gotta wash it for sure. I'd rather have some like breathable fabric. Okay, so then my other obsession was, I loved purses. I don't anymore. And it's funny, sorry guys, I can't bend too far. And I don't want to, okay. So, I love purses. Anna Hindemarch, Anna is that how you say her name? But Google her, she had the best purses. Oh my God, she had this Tony the Tiger purse. It was really, that Tony the Tiger blue and orange. I wanted, it was $3,000. And I think because of Kellogg's trademark, it I never found it in a knockoff. Probably because Kellogg's would come for them. Anyway, and what's the other woman? Kate Spade. Love Kate Spade. So that was kind of my thing. So I had all these interesting kind of purses, tote bags. And then, you know, they wore out or did stuff. And I was just like, huh. So I didn't do it to all of them, but I kept, so this was more of a tote bag, you guys. Because I thought, I can do something. Like, but you know what? Do I, I don't know how that would look on a book cover. Anyway, so that. Um, these were the kind of things I loved, you guys. I just have grown out of this aesthetic. You know, I think, I don't know if I put this together as a group and just say art on it. This thing's hysterical. Yeah, I mean, I really, they don't speak to me. So why do I even begin to think I want them? Because I'm tired. And this, look at these. Now I could try, are they the same, basically. I could keep one, you know, they're a little different. I could try to draw them and then just throw them out. The other one, and then this one, I feel like I have more y'all. This is a, like a little Gibson bag. This I'm gonna keep, cause I can totally see this as a book cover so of, of a journal. Like you can use um, cardboard, or like, uh, what do you call them? Um, like this kind of stuff, right? And then I gotta go over that and then cover it up with this. That would be fun. And then have that book be this kind of vintage theme. That one I'm gonna keep. This one was a cool bag. So this one's more vinyl-y, like, you know, pleather. I don't know about these. Maybe I don't need both. <clears throat> okay. So that's kind of that. 
But look at this little, little thing I found. Is that not gorgeous? How amazing on the side, like a spine of a book. I don't know. I mean, what is this for? Oh, you know what? It's to put glasses in. That's what this is for. But y'all, I don't need glasses. So well, I do need readers. Anyway, I don't know. I have to keep for now. Okay. Oh, here's, and this was a pillow. It got damaged. I love that. And I was thinking like on the back of a jacket. I don't know. That's the kind of thing I have to talk to <clears throat> Chloe, but now maybe this is something I could put in a collection for Mary. Maybe she could cut it in four parts. I don't know, y'all. But that's a key. Oh, here's some more. Not like I had more, but... That's that same thing. That I'm just going to throw out. Okay, and we'll do one more thing. We start bag by bag, right? So I have lots of ribbon. Like, stuff like this. So my thinking is right now in my closet, the studio closet, I have some Christmas stuff, like art, kind of like making junk journals. I have two smaller green <coughs> containers which I was brilliant one year and got all these because they were easier for me to carry up and downstairs. So I think what I want to do is not now, but I'm going to go through that and then sort it and put that in the garage. So that will give me like a, a good amount of space. So I'm probably going to have two like medium sized containers of just fabric. And then, um, I will have like some notions and sewing, stuff like that. I have, you know, I'm not sure how I want to store it yet. Um, but I also have a bunch of pillows, you guys. And I'm not necessarily a pillow person, but um, what I might do is save like some of my Christmas t-shirts and have Mary make a quilt of that and then some of the pillow covers, there's a couple are really adorable. Maybe we can incorporate that. I don't know how to talk to her about that, but um, there's a lot of pillow space going on. I know you can shrink them, but I've let go of like three pillows right now. And I have, you know, nice pillows, but I'm just like Beverly loves pillows and she changes out the covers and y'all you know, my nails or something. So there's that. Cause um, I'm thinking about, I want, you know, my fabric is gonna go y'all. You know, I have got to go. I started and I make an appointment at this new place and get my nails done. So I'm gonna get gel toes because that will last me weeks and weeks and weeks. And I'm just, I'm not doing gel. So it's too expensive and then too much to have to keep up with it. So I'm just gonna have a really good manicure and just like a nice light color for now. But yeah, I know I'm all over the place y'all cause I'm tired. But I have taken my medicine, but I have to eat something. I find if I eat something, my medicine doesn't give me that terrible feeling. But yeah, so that's what I'm thinking in that closet. And, um, and I have all these blankets and things and I got rid of some, but you know, uh, it, it's, as long as I have a space for it right now, it's pretty good. You know, I have a lot of those fleecy blankets. I love those things. I love those things. But summer's coming. So I have a real light one. You guys, this is crazy. So yeah, that's my thought process, y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna, today is going to be a day of being kind to myself and giving myself grace. It's a good day to practice that, y'all. And it's a good, so I have to wash my hair. I just do. I cannot tolerate it. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna put some of this medical tape. Oh, here's one. I thought I had another one. Fabulous 50s. Y'all, I don't know. I'm gonna let go. That used to be my, my jam. But I think I'm gonna put um, just the tape and then 
I wish I knew where my goggles were, but, uh, and just be very careful. Like, you know, just wet it, turn the water off. Shampoo, 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 you know, rinse it, turn the water off, that kind of thing. Um, but you know, I really do. I took a shower yesterday, it was like heaven. So I have to wash my hair, I can literally not stand it. I don't know if y'all, you know, the gray all of a sudden, y'all, yeah, wow. Anyway, <laughs> I'm struggling with self, um, loving right now and not judging myself. I don't know what has all of a sudden happened here. I'm hopefully, so I get some super hydration and I've been working on my hydration. I sucked so bad. Here's another thing, you wanna feel shitty? Don't have water. Don't drink your water or your protein shake. I don't know, I was very unfocused yesterday and talkative and, um, you know, I have a coworker where we, yeah, we have fun. And, um, and it was really slow. It was that kind of day, right? My energy, but I did manage to accomplish some things that I needed to do, but I'm taking it easy. You know, I, it's so hard. I'm doing better at bending than I thought I would. But, you know, a lot of what I have to do, you bend and look and, you know, I do display. So I just took ugliest colors, covers I could find and put them out. So I'm curious. Sometimes when I do that, they're just really unusual books people haven't seen and they'll take them. But my idea is I don't want to have to mess around with that display. So one year I did that, I did, went in the mystery section and found the ugliest, most boring covers I could find. They were like hotcakes, hysterical. You never know, right? You never know. But so that's what's going on. But today um, we're going to do Trader Joe's. We're going to do um, my Walmart haul, I think. And then um, I want to show you my Ikea fabrics. I think that's a lot to film, plus everything else I'm doing. But you know what? I'm just going to keep chugging along. And my ultimate goal is to try to get what I need to get done by 6 and do some art. Have dinner. Do I have Beverly made me some of that really good chicken salad. You guys, we're going to make that. I, I can't remember the second what's in it, but we're going to make it. It is phenomenal. And she made me some really good ham soup, but I ate like half of that at work yesterday. I had soup, like three cups. This is my soup day. And um, even though it was 80 degrees outside. And um, yes, yeah, so I need up my chicken fajitas. I got enough for tonight, probably, or lunch. And then, um, let's see, I, <clears throat> I meant to get Walmart, you know, okay, so they say you have up to this amount of time to change your order, to add, subtract, it's a lie. Every time I've tried to do it, it won't. It says temporary problem or some crap. Then this one was saying, because I have gift cards and I'm under the gift card. And this was saying, well, I wanted to add, I forgot Dawn, Lucia, Dawn and something else. And I want to get um, frozen. No, I didn't get the frozen avocado because I really need to check my freezer. But I had the best avocado, you all, to totally change subject. I had it half yesterday and half the day before. It was phenomenal. It's just so tricky, right? You buy one or two at a time. I just have to get used to dashing in the store to grab one or two things. I can do that. But um, yeah, totally know where I'm at, y'all. Crickets. Jeez, oh, I hate, well, you know, I don't hate it. I just accept, but a lot of people are like me and they're not ADHD. Um, hmm. that food anyway yeah avocado and we're gonna start doing smoothies I need that kind of energy um, as I wean off sugar and I'm gonna wean but as I say that as I say I'm weaning these are out y'all why why I honestly why don't they have these things all, I gotta talk about this already why don't they have hold the cone coffee all the time I'm sorry that's not a seasonal thing. That's just a yummy all around. I mean, their coffee ice cream is really some of the best. The only thing is it's huge and I can't, I wouldn't, you know, now I have weirdo things about ice cream. Once you open that ice cream, y'all, the countdown is on. Once that air hits that ice cream, it's ready to affect it. Now, when you go to these ice cream places and they're open and the air, mm, not my, I, I feel like I can taste the stale air. They're not my favorite. Dairy Queen, it just comes out. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. Anyway, I got two boxes because one of my coworkers loves them, too. And she ate up, like, half already. 
So I have one more box at work. Um, yeah, that's sugar, right? Anyway. Yeah, we'll see what how I did at the at the Walmart haul. I think I did pretty good. I did order these cake donuts. They never have them. They literally never come. But if they do come, what I'm going to do is, which I threatened to do last time, is shrink wrap them and put them in the, because you can't. So one of my, my supervisor buys donuts all the time for us. I think I talked about this from Dunkin' Donuts, which is very nice. Dunkin' Donuts, she doesn't eat them. She doesn't eat any sugar, really. She's aged and she's not eating sugar. Doesn't like it. Y'all, the hell? My parents, what you bet? My grandparents didn't love to see me eat broccoli instead of like yummy cake. But um, yeah, so you walk in the kitchen and it's like, Emma, I don't want these things. And you walk in the kitchen two hours later and you're like, huh, Dunkin' Donut. They're not that bad, are they? They're kind of good. And I go on the third time and I open to see what's left, right? Back in the day, I would immediately claim two of them. You can't, listen, when you work like, you can't think, oh, like if I, let's say I brought in brownies and someone's like, oh, at the end of the day, oh, you know, I'll get one before I leave. I'm like, no, go cut your brownie, claim it, because it's going to be gone. That's it. So I think I told this. One day I go and then, oh, there's a coconut, toasted coconut donut. Now I'm desperate apparently because I have, I cut myself like a little less than half. And I really don't like people who cut half donuts, but I understand it now. And so I go and I eat it and then I'm on the desk. So I get off the desk, I come back and I thought, yeah, I'm going to finish that donut. It was really good. I don't know what, if my mind, I don't know, but that was a particularly good donut. <clears throat> I bet if I got it again, it would not be as good. But anyway, I come back and it's gone. And I screamed to my friend who, you know, I'm like, did you eat the, that last toasted coconut? And she's like, I did. It was so good. I'm like, okay. No. The whole point of this is though, when she does that and I see it, um, I can go, if I really want one, and get a good one out of the, the freezer. I'll tell you what, though. Walmart makes the best donuts, but they're constantly sold out. Like, if I go into the Walmart, it's like in between here and work, they're never there. So, when I order it, they did send me, okay, I, I'm really frustrated. Y'all use this Walmart site? So, I got a thing saying these things are dangerously low. And what are your substitutions? So one was peanut butter. I like a particular kind. It doesn't have bad stuff in it. It's this honey peanut butter. And I have this much left. I, I'm not a peanut butter person, but I've been eating bread and peanut butter and honey, but that's done. So I thought, okay, cancel that. I can get that another time. And the kind I really wanted was gone. It's always away. And then it was sweet potatoes. So um, I just chose to replace the organic. And I think because they make you choose that you pay that price. That's fine. So I got three pounds of work. So hopefully they're going to come. So I changed that. And then um, the donuts that they might substitute this other kind. And I just said no replacement. So either they're there or they're not. Then I wanted to add Dawn soap and something. Like I said, it wouldn't let me do it. I kept saying temporarily a problem. I think it changed these, these save, save these things. I don't know. I really don't know. It felt like it did. But then it said when I wanted to add Dawn and this other thing, it's like, well... You, your card's expired. No, it's not. And I, you, you're exceeding your gift card by, let's say, I don't know, $6. So well, let me add that. And then there's nowhere that I could click to get to the payment pay. Very, fr I thought, you know what? I just, I'm not putting these on. I will run in and get Dawn soap. So that was frustrating and that seems to always happen. I remember one time I put stuff in there and accidentally ordered it and um, it wouldn't let me take it out. I was so mad, but I need to buckle down and call. But when I'm doing this, I don't feel like calling Walmart, right? But I need to do that and find out what I'm doing incorrectly. Walmart is a huge corporation. Every time I go, it says there's a problem, come back. That shouldn't be ever. So anyway, it's my fault because I got to report it. So we have that come in. And today, because I got to leave for my doctor's appointment. Well, I have to leave. Let's see. I have to leave here about a little before 10. That's not bad. But we're going to, I want to make a salad. I want to make a, so I have my little thing that um, cuts the vegetables a little. 
So we're gonna do like tomato, cucumber, um, onion. I think they were out of red onion. I got a white onion. Let's just see what happens. How can you be out of, I guess, you know, I'm doing it Monday morning. Of course, I should do it on my Friday off. That went together. Uh, we're gonna add beans. I meant to get some flat leaf parsley. If I go out, if I have to go out to the bank, I might run, dip in and get a couple of those little things. And then um, I'm gonna use, I got ordered lemons. I'm gonna use lemon and um, a little olive oil and a little red wine vinegar. <clears throat> this is my friend makes at work, Nazareth. My, she's um, Iranian, she makes the best food. Some of it, y'all, I can't eat. I do not like mint in food. I don't like mint in drinks. Like I see with mint and it's just, I'm not a big mint person. I don't, I like um, the smell of mint. And especially I love the smell of peppermint and I have come along with the peppermint stuff at Christmas, but mint in general and food, I, I, is, I just don't like that combination. But um, there's something else I was gonna put in. But then um, I wanna roast up some, of the uh, is it sweet potatoes? And have some, oh, I know I'm gonna put peppers, I have peppers and I ordered new peppers, so. Yeah, and today if I need a snack, y'all, I got, I know that, I got raspberries from Giant. Um, you get three for, I don't know, whatever it is, $9.99, $10. They have been phenomenal, phenomenal. So I had one Saturday, one yesterday, and they're not super big, of course. And then I had my other today. They have been such a treat. They've been perfect. I love raspberries. I say strawberries, raspberries. My grandma had a raspberry tree. So I remember my brother and I out in the summer picking from that, and him trying to give me the bad side of the bush. That's the truth. But okay, so that's what's going on. Um, we will come back and I will show you more stuff. I love this stuff too. Seam binding. This is fun. We do all kinds of stuff with that in art. But we'll come back with this. And then um, like these things. So West Trim Crafts, look at their eyeball. Yeah. Anyway, so we gotta look at what notions I'm gonna keep. And I have to look downstairs at the space. So like Peter Walsh, he's a great um, organizer, guy and psychological. He's like, you have limits, you have boundaries. And that's what I'm working on with myself for boundaries. And um, he said, you know, this is the spot. This is your bookcase. If you want more books, you let go of books, right? So I like that. So I have this idea. I have, you know, I can't imagine myself buying fabric ever again, truthfully. Um, but like, here's your space, right? So here's where I'm going to put my notions. And uh, I'm going to have to label. I, now, I have a label maker and I cannot find the plugin, but I have a whole bag of plugins. So not now, but down the line, we'll be doing some label making. So I have to have stuff outside. Maybe I'll even do art ones. I don't know. I need them to be big. I need to know what's there. That's just an ADHD thing. But again, I'm going to change subjects because this thing I was watching this man and the hacks he has, but one of them again was have five meals you go to, right? So I did order a hamburger and we're going to cook it up and divide it in half. In half, I'm going to make an Asian flavor, you know, with different Asian things like um, the coconut aminos, a little red chili, you know, a little bit of hoisin, that kind of thing. And then I'm going to divide it into different cups and freeze it. And so then I want to do that. Um, I can make a taco out of it. I can, you know, have, make noodles and throw it on, just eat it that way. And then the other one, we're going to do taco meat. And, you know, tacos has always been one of my go-tos. And I don't know why I moved away from it. Well, one, you can't find tortillas that are not, got poisonous shit. Really, it's insane. I had to check out Trader Joe's, but I just bit the bullet and got this one from, um, I got the miss, the one's low carb, but I got some organic white corn. That's like the giant, like, you know, nature label kind of thing. But you, the ones that, y'all, I'm going to tell you right now, the ones that come in a box already made, that you heat up are absolutely, I think they're banned in Europe and I'm not eating anything banned in Europe, but, um, Maybe I'll have to get a list of things and do a thing on that. But they are terrible. And I honestly, don't, I've never really liked the taste of them. There's just a weird oily, greasy kind of, it tastes like rancid oil to me. And I know they're convenient, y'all. Anyway, so but the but, but did that. 
bit the bullet. So that taco meat ready to go, you know, have taco salad, have real tacos, just, you know, I could eat just taco meat, right? On top of that, whatever. So I need that done. And I need to make a list outside my refrigerator. So those are, you know, those can be two go-tos, right? And then now I got beans. I, you know, Trader uh, Walmart had only, you could only order tuna is shipped. I thought, well, I'm going to Trader Joe's on my way to work Wednesday. Um, I'm getting tater tots as part of my, you know, my thing because my friend loves tater tots. Or I'll give them to her and we have emergency tater tots. So when we're having a day, we have emergency tater tots. But, um, yeah, I might do that. It might be too commotion-y trying to get those tater tots cooked up. But, yeah, but um, tuna is always a good thing. Easy to make. Um... So what are some of your go-to meals? I'm gonna check my comments today. I'm gonna get back in the groove. Y'all, every, it feels like every muscle in my body hurts right now. Cause I'm not hydrated. What are your go-to? So we used to eat spaghetti all the time, but you know, red sauce is not agreeing with me. But you know what? I could maybe, I don't know. Nah, I think right now I won't do that. Um, I know you see pizza once a week. But again, I gotta figure out how to get a gluten-free pizza with like a different sauce. Um, but I did get some salsa. So one of the things I do is want to make some egg bites and see how they freeze up. Um, and I have cooked chicken already, so that we need to eat up. But I love salsa in these chips. And I haven't had that in a while because I'm really trying not to eat snacks that have salt in them. But, you know, a little, some of those chips and then... A little bit of hamburger meat, salsa, avocado. That's always a good meal too. So yeah, I have to, I need more choices. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to come up with five. Breakfast is a struggle for whatever reason now. Because my mom always made it for me. That's the truth. It's been how many years since I've lost her. And, but I'm going to make the egg cups. But you can always scrambled eggs. is good. And we'll see how this, I got two or three different kinds of salsa because or giant brand because it really scored high on yucca and got i think i saw different youtubers talk about it so we're going to try that we're going to see what we think of them but that's always good with some eggs or i can throw in rotel in my eggs spinach that kind of thing um but i i can come home i'm still have not made um pancakes because that requires an extra step but i do want to do that i've been craving pancakes but i don't again I'm gonna make them when I'm gonna eat them. Maybe if Saturday we'll do that. We'll have a good old IHOP, do breakfast or dinner. And then freeze some. So, you know, Trader Joe's has these tiny little ones. They're so good, but they're they're right low on yucca. You pay for, you know, not only do you pay extra for convenience, but you're paying with the, the crap they put in it to keep it stable. So eventually, hopefully I get to a point where I'm not eating any processed food. I, I can't see that right now because my go-to's at Trader Joe's, but at least the stuff like I'm getting at Trader Joe's, I'm sticking to things that are gluten-free and things that are um, high on yucca. And there's a few things. One of my weaknesses, all, have you ever tried the chicken shumai? It's like this cool dumpling. So what you do is, and, and the hard part is, if you don't, you know, I could make half of it and you get sauce. So I have a little jar to put the sauce in for the next time. But you just put them in a thing with plastic wrap over it. You should see me with the plastic wrap. It is I'm going to get new plastic wrap one day and then do a, a reel on it. I'm trying to open it. It's insane. Put someone on the moon. You can replace you can put pig parts into a heart. You can't get saran wrap that opens really, like it should. Like without wanting to kill somebody. I hate that. But anyway, um, but you put that on it with a little water and it steams. Oh my God, they're so good. I mean, two minutes and you're eating. And now that of course is gluten, but that's, that's, I always have one in my freezer at work. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I got stuff to do y'all, stuff to do. And we're gonna, I'm, I'm determined to get through this stuff. I really am. And I'm doing a good job. Actually, I'm doing a really good job because I have to balance it with the other things I'm doing, but I do not want, since this is something I'm not going to use all the time, I do not want it sitting out in my studio. And I've also organized a bunch of the paper that I need to sort through. Um, so that's like a bonus, like at the end of the day, if I've done what I need to do, um, then I get to go through the papers. And I'm letting go a lot. It's so funny of things I saved 
2004, 2015 even, that just does not, it doesn't resonate with me anymore. But other things, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. And I got the idea for the, put these kind of things, you know, in a jar because the woman had a jar full of little scraps and with the word scrap on it. But yeah, it's like an art piece. But anyway, yeah, cause I'm determined. I'm just determined. It just, it really is about, for me, since I feel like my strength isn't there, but consistency, it's amazing. Consistent, consistent adds up. I know this, I know this. So yeah, but by the end of the week, I really want, um, you know, I, I really don't have to sort through any more fabric and the goal is to get out, get it gone. And then I, again, I want to show you my Kia fabric and then I've saved like bigger pieces and I have all these shirts and stuff. So this is going to be a project I want to do with Chloe, a Cleo. And, um, so I might, you know, go through and sort through that a little bit, um, and pull out stuff maybe for Mary to make me a thing, but we're going to make scarves, right? So I want to do this for like eight years, 10 years. I'm doing it. May never want to do it again, but I'm using up these things. So that can be put somewhere because that's a pending project, right? So anyway, all right, guys, let me go. Let me do my thing. I just keep talking to y'all. So, all right, we'll see you soon. And yeah, Target, Walmart, Ikea. It's Ikea fabric, y'all. It's, mm, it's beautiful. <laughs>